So this is an attempt to explain the European summit statement that just came out yesterday. They are that 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 statement is framed as first let's solve Greece, then let's worry about bank recapitalization, then let's worry about sovereign debt. I think it's actually easier to think of it in reverse order. So I'll start with the sovereign debt. Here's the European financial stability facility and I'm showing that it already has commitments of 150 billion euros to Portugal, Ireland, and Greece. Um, so the first idea seems to be to use the remaining capacity to capitalize a special purpose vehicle to create an equity tranche here of a special purpose vehicle, which would then be funded by a trillion dollars a trillion euros, excuse me, that might have its, its, its source in China or Brazil. Perhaps this would even be funneled through the IMF as an, intermediate, as an intermediate stage, but leave that out. The point is that this now creates a vehicle that has more firepower uh, than the original EFSF that can be used to support, to buy, the bonds of Italy and Spain. Okay, That's the first idea about how to support the sovereign debt. The other idea, the second idea, is that the European Financial Stability Fund facility could uh, itself guarantee some of this debt, write insurance, so I'm writing this as CDS, which investors might buy here, and they might then buy risky debt of Italy and Spain or wherever, because when you add the CDS insurance to the risky debt, you get risk-free debt, and there's a great demand for that sort of thing in, in the world. So that's the second idea. Once we have this in place, the, the thought is, well, why don't we use it for something else? Okay because we're going to be taking some haircuts here on the Greek debt and so the banks are going to have to be recapitalized and so why don't we use the SPV for that have it also maybe buy some bank equity positions the thought was we're going to force banks once they to, to realize losses and to raise as much private equity as they can, which is probably not much for the peripheral countries, uh, use national equity as a second, which is also probably not much because these are the countries with the sovereign debt problems, and so lay its EFSF equity and this EFSF equity here is the counterpart of that entry there. So forget about that, forget about that. Now notice two things. Okay, one, this whole thing is based on leveraging the credit of the EFSF, which ultimately comes from Germany and France. Um, much of the commentary um, has pointed this out, and it's probably, uh, this is this is the problem. Um, but I want to point out something else. Um, it has always been puzzling me, all this concern about wiping out the Greek, Greek debt, getting a 50% haircut, so as not to trigger CDS. So what I'm thinking is that it sounds to me like exposures sitting on the balance sheet of the banks here. And the concern is that if we CDS, to the extent that we trigger these CDS, it's going to cost more in capitalization. So that explains some of the uh, fancy footwork uh, that is being done in this proposal. Or